All right, so get this. Today we are going deep, deep into black holes. Ooh, exciting. Yeah, some really interesting new research you sent over about uh, instabilities yeah. inside of black holes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, our listeners are pretty familiar with the basics, but yeah. uh, this research could change everything we thought we know oh, absolutely. about black holes. It really shakes things up. Yeah. So let's just do a quick recap for like, you know, just a baseline. Yeah. Black holes, regions of space time, super strong gravity, nothing escapes. Right. Not even light. Not even light. And the Kerr solution has been like our model. Right. Yeah. Especially for rotating ones. For rotating black holes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that's been our model for a long time. Yeah. Um, so can you just like briefly explain what the Kerr solution like? Sure. You know what it tells us about a black hole. So basically, it depicts a black hole as this like swirling vortex okay. with um, two horizons, okay. an outer one and then an inner one. Mm -hmm. And at the core, a ring singularity. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Yeah. A ring singularity? Yeah. So it's not a point. It's not a single point. No. Okay. So I'm having trouble picturing this. So think of it like um, kind of like a whirlpool. Okay. But instead of water, it's space time being pulled in okay. and swirling around. And then at the very center, yeah. instead of just one point, there's this incredibly dense ring. Okay. Okay. I think I can I can see that. Yeah. Okay. But here's where it gets really, really interesting. Yeah. This new research suggests that the Kerr solution, it's great yeah. for describing the outside of a black hole. Yeah, the exterior. Yeah. But it might not be the whole story. Right. When it comes to what's going on inside. Totally. Like in the interior. Yeah. It's missing a big piece of the puzzle. So tell me more about that. What is this research saying? Well, they're saying that the um, the buildup of energy inside. Okay. Particularly at that inner horizon could lead to some instability. Oh, so black holes. They're not just these like stable, unchanging <laughs> objects. That's what it's looking like. They could actually be like in constant flux. Yeah, that's what this research suggests. Whoa. Yeah, and what's even more surprising is the time scale. Okay. It happens much faster than we initially thought. Okay, wait, fast in like cosmic terms? Yeah, I mean, it's still pretty long, but... Right, because even fast could still be millions of years. Sure, but we're talking about time scales much shorter okay. than the average lifespan of a black hole. Okay, so it really throws a wrench into like Whoa. our understanding of black hole. Absolutely. So so this instability, it's all about like energy building up ah. at the inner horizon. Exactly. But what does that actually do to the black hole? Right. So it doesn't just like fizzle out. Okay. It can actually drastically change the structure what? and make it deviate from that um that Kerr solution. Okay, so the black hole doesn't just like disappear, it transforms. It goes through some kind of dramatic shift. This is crazy. It's wild. Okay, so before we get into what that transformation might look like, yeah, can we like break down how this instability really challenges mm -hmm. the Kerr solution? Yeah, so you know, Kerr solution's been great for describing the outside, mm -hmm. but it might be oversimplifying what's happening inside. Okay. For example, the instability suggests that the inner horizon might not be mm -hmm. as smooth and predictable as the Kerr solution predicts. Okay. Like, picture it as a uh, a really chaotic region but, where space-time itself is, is, like, constantly fluctuating. Whoa, okay, things are getting really complex now. Yeah, it's a whole other level of complexity. So, so if the Kerr solution's, like, missing key mm -hmm. information, mm -hmm. what does that mean for how we understand black hole evolution? Well, it suggests that black holes aren't these static, unchanging objects. Okay. But rather, they're dynamic. They're constantly transforming internally. So it's like we thought we were looking at a still photograph. Right. But it's actually a video with all this action going on. Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole lot more going on than we thought. Wow. Okay. This is incredible. Yeah. It's pretty mind-blowing. But what does this mean for everything else we thought we knew? Right. About black holes, like how they form. Yeah. How they interact, how they eventually, like, you know, end? Well, that's a big question, isn't it? Yeah. This discovery opens up a whole new world of possibilities ah. for research and understanding. Yeah. I mean, it really challenges, like, our fundamental assumptions. Oh, absolutely. About these, like, cosmic giants. Yeah. It really turns everything on its head. So, before we go too crazy, what are the ways, specifically, mm. this instability might impact how they grow and merge. Right. So if a black hole is constantly fluctuating internally, yeah. it's not just passively absorbing everything. It's Wrong. actually like evolving as it's feeding. 
So they're not just cosmic vacuum cleaners. Right, exactly. They're like cosmic chefs. Yeah, that's a great analogy. Turning all these ingredients into something new. Yeah, they're transforming everything they consume. This changes everything. Does yeah. it affect how they interact with space? Yeah, absolutely. Like, could it explain some of those weird things we see? Like, like the jets? Yeah, those massive jets shooting out. Yeah, so it could be like, um, think of it like dropping a pebble in a pond. Okay. The energy fluctuations and the the changes to the black hole's structure uh -huh. could create these ripples in space-time. Okay. And that could be what's triggering those powerful jets. Wow, so this isn't just like what's happening inside the black hole right it's how that affects like everything around it exactly it has a huge impact on its surrounding like a cosmic drama unfolding yeah it's pretty epic and and this instability might even offer a glimpse into physics yeah beyond einstein's general relativity right that's the really exciting part yeah like our current model breaks down at the singularity right but this instability suggests we might be able to observe the effects of that breakdown in the black hole's exterior. So we could see signs of new physics. Like, like exactly, physics beyond our current understanding. By observing these unstable black holes. Yeah, it's pretty revolutionary. Okay, before we, like, go too far down that rabbit hole. Yeah. Let's shift gears a little bit and talk about, like, the big questions. Okay. That this research raises. Sure. Like, what are the biggest mysteries that we need to solve now yeah what are the next steps in this research yeah there's a lot to unpack here yeah so much we still don't know well i think one of the biggest questions is like what happens yeah. to a black hole right that's undergoing this kind of instability yeah what's the ultimate fate right like does it eventually stabilize well, you know into some new configuration okay does it um collapse into something even weirder right or or does it transform into something like totally unexpected yeah does it just like explode or i mean who knows right these are these are questions that need yeah. a lot more investigation a lot more research yeah it feels like we've opened like this pandora's box <laughs> totally of yeah. cosmic mysteries Absolutely. but before we get like you know too far out there yeah i want to bring it back to our listener for a second okay yeah like what what stands out to you mm -hmm. about these findings yeah what's the one thing that's like sticking with you? You know, for me, I think it's the idea yeah. that black holes, these objects yeah. that are like defined by their immense gravity right. could be so complex and dynamic on the inside. Yeah. It's like appearances can be deceiving. Totally. <laughs> Even right. in the darkest corners of the universe, there's this yeah. hidden world of complexity. Yeah. It really makes you wonder if black holes mm -hmm. are less stable than we thought. Yeah. What does that mean for how they, like, change right. over time? Could they become something else entirely? I mean, that's a question that's going to keep astrophysicists busy yeah. for, for years to come. For a long time. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if future research mm -hmm. reveals even more, like, unexpected things. Oh, absolutely. There's so much more to learn. Yeah. About black holes. <laughs> Definitely. Well, on that note, I think we've reached the event horizon yeah. of our uh, deep dive for today. Right. But before we go, I want to leave our listener mm -hmm. with like a final thought to ponder. Okay. If these findings about black hole instability yeah. teach us anything, mm -hmm. it's that the universe is like far stranger. Oh, yeah. And more wondrous Lobby. than we could ever imagine. It really is. Yeah. It's mind blowing. I mean, it's just crazy to think that something is like seemingly simple right. as a black hole, you know, this object mm -hmm. defined by like crazy gravity. Yeah. Could be so complex inside. It really highlights how much we still don't know, right? Totally. <laughs> About the universe. And it really like emphasizes the importance of yeah. challenging like even our most basic scientific beliefs. Absolutely. What we think is solid ground right. can yeah. completely shift yeah. with new discoveries. It's a good reminder that like science is always evolving. Yeah, it's a constant process yeah. of exploration and discovery. And sometimes the most unexpected findings lead to the like yeah. the most like profound invites, you know. Absolutely. And it's not just about black holes either. Right. This kind of paradigm shift can happen in any field. Yeah, that's true. And it reminds us that, like, yeah. the universe is full of surprises. Yeah, totally. And our understanding is constantly evolving. So this idea of, like, 
instability and mm-hmm. transformation, it, it could have implications beyond black holes. Oh, absolutely. It makes you wonder, like, what else is out there right. that's going through similar processes? Yeah, what other mysteries are waiting to be uncovered? And we, like, we have no idea. It's exciting, isn't it? It's really exciting. The universe is constantly revealing new secrets. Yeah, and each new discovery, it opens up like so many new paths to explore. Countless avenues for research and exploration. So for our listeners, Mm -hmm. what do you think is like the most important takeaway from all of this? Well, I think the key takeaway is that even in the most... Yeah. seemingly unfathomable realms of the universe, right. like the inside of a black hole, Yeah, there's always more to learn. Mm-hmm. And new discoveries can like completely challenge our <laughs> most like cherished scientific models right. and force us to like reevaluate our entire understanding. It really is a humbling reminder yeah. that we're still just like... We're just scratching the surface. Yeah, just scratching the surface. There's so much more out there. Okay, well, I, I think it's time for us to like come back out of this black hole uh, deep dive. But before we go, I want to leave you with one final thought. If these findings teach us anything, it's that the universe is way stranger. Oh, yeah. Way more wondrous. Absolutely. And way more dynamic. For sure. Than we could ever imagine. It's humbling and inspiring. So keep exploring, keep questioning, Mm -hmm. and never stop being curious. Yeah, never stop wondering. About the mysteries that are out there. Absolutely, the universe is full of them. Right, and who knows? Yeah. Maybe someday our listener will be the one to make like the next groundbreaking discovery. That would be amazing. I know, that changes everything. It's a possibility though. Yeah. Anyone could be the next great scientist. That's right. Until then, keep looking up. Yes. Keep wondering, and we will see you on our next Deep dive into the mysteries of the cosmos.